Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. Let me just quickly flip through the uh, equipment here. I did some changes, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys here. And uh, changed up the abilities here. Just for reference sake, I guess. Alright. Now, last episode we finished off at Conde Petit, and we were told to head to the Southeast Forest! Yes, to the Southeast Forest, where the Black Mages are living, apparently. So... If we'll ever get there, that is. Alright, managed to get Quina to learn Matra magic there from Zagnol, which is awesome. I don't really know what it does, so we shall see later in battle, I guess. There's a lot of spells that he has that I haven't tried yet, so that'll be something to do. Alright. Oh, uh, wait. Down here first. Alright. Now, to the southeast! Man, all these random encounters are interrupting my train of thought. Let's just quickly get there now, shall we? This is a really thick forest. Alright, there we go. No! Will we ever get to the village? I don't know. Stupid encounters all the time, everywhere. Okay, so they live so deep in the forest that owls don't even live there. So, uh, well, we saw the black mage run this way. And what does the sign say now? Okay, go to the right again. Really? Here too? Okay, at least they gave me some different monsters this time. It's a fat owl. What's this called? You know what this reminds me of, um... My Neighbor Totoro, if anybody has watched that. I I've never watched it, but I see it everywhere. And I know I'm probably missing out because people keep telling me how cute it is, and... It's a Studio Ghibli film, right? So those tend to be pretty good. Oh, come on! There we go. Now, as, as I think I remember them not tasting very good, so Queen doesn't, doesn't learn anything out of it. In case you guys aren't aware, and uh, not following me on Twitter or anything like that, this is like my sixth time trying to record this thing because for some reason, Fraps is not being very nice. <clears throat> Neither is my throat. <coughs> oh, it's another new monster. Uh, that doesn't look very good. It reminds me of those tentacle monsters. Um, Myconid? Mycenid? Myconid? Let's see. Can we eat these things? Eat. Oh, never mind. Wah, wah. All right. No, no owls. Back over here. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's the other side because the black mage came from there. Just double checking. There we go. Follow the black mage! Not the monsters! Alright. Come on, let this be it already. Finally! Ooh. And the black mage doesn't realize that you have he has two people scampering after him. Whoa, trippy. 
All right, we got in. Finally, it's about time. The Black Mage Village. All right. Oh, I remember. I I forgot about this music. <gasps> ah! Huh. Huh. Humans. What's wrong? <gasps> Humans run! Oh, oh my God! They're so clumsy, like Vivi. What? Wait. Did you see them? Y yeah. They were talking. There were other. Oh wait. There are others like me. My throat's not in the best condition right now, you guys. Why would anyone build a village in the middle of a dying forest? Beats me. Where's Vivi? He went that way, but I... Hey! A village! Village always have good food! I go find! Yes, Queena. Jeez, you people. Alright. Oh man, there's lots to, to look at here. The humans are here! Vivi is not a human. Vivi! What's going on? Huh? Okay, Fraps, really? For the sixth time? You're not gonna do this to me now, are you? You'll be good, right? Uh. Welcome, huh? Uh, um, c can I help you? Yes, let's see what you got. Shop heap. Um, doesn't seem like anything new so far. Let's see here. Uh, yeah. It really doesn't seem like there's much, is there? Oh, survival vests. Well, I'll take a couple of those, I guess. And that's all there is to it, really. Alright, um... No, I don't need- I'm just trying to look for stuff, man. It's okay. There's an owl over there. Ugh. Okay, that's kind of creepy. I'm gonna leave now. Okay, what's... Man. This place is... Oh, the huts are like in the shape of their- their faces and stuff. That's so cute. Different language. Is he the one who came with that group of humans? He's alright. Look into his eyes. He's aware, just like us. Th thanks Um, what are you all doing here? We escaped together from Alexandria and the cargo ships. This far? That's right. We wanted to live in a world where there were no humans. To find that, we had to cross the ocean. I see. So, um, what's this? This is, a uh, uh, what's the word? It's a cemetery. Right, a cemetery. A cemetery? So, underneath the ground... Yes, our friends are buried under here. But why? That's because I, I came here with Mr. 36. We escaped together. We had so many things to learn. It was really scary at first, but we helped each other. Then one day, Mr. 36 stopped moving. He just stopped. Wouldn't move or say anything. My friend who knows lots of things told me that this was what death was, and we had to bury him. Mr. 36 is buried under, under the ground now, but I don't understand why. He's going to come out again one day, right? When he does, I'm going to wash him off in the pond. What? Well, what's he talking about? Oh. Was it a disease? Or was he hurt? Tell me! Why? That's because... Oh, I don't think I'm gonna like that scene very much. Oh, come on now. Visitor, not invader. <clears throat> um, excuse me. Why are you here? This is our village. Yeah. You forced the little guy to guide you here, didn't you? That's all you humans ever think about using us. You mean Vivi? That's not true, it's just that I was surprised to see black mages other than Vivi who could talk, so... Besides, I'm here to stop the person who is sending you off to fight! Are, are you telling the truth? LIES! All humans are liars! You're lying! But it's true! I can't just sit here and watch while horrible things are happening! 
Tell it to them, dagger. All right, let's head back in here. Uh, is this another shop? Probably for yeah stuff like this. We don't really need anything right now, I don't think. Ooh, but thanks for that. Could always use more ethers. Can we climb this ladder over here? No! Stop going through things that I'm not meaning to go through and I guess I can't go through there. Never mind. Alright, what's over here then? Oh, it's the inn. Th this is an inn, but we're not ready to check not ready to check you in. This village is so cute. Oh wait, there was something here. <clears throat> The gift of magical music for you by Music House. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Ooh, we found another one of those uh, those uh, Stelazio coins. I need to remember to pick up all of them so we can complete that little side quest. Stop going into things that I don't mean to go into. I seem to do that every single episode without fail. Alright, uh, let's see what's over here then. This is where Dagger was. Oh wait, we were in here. God damn it! I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, let's go in here then. Dagger should be in here. Oh, Zidane! What's up, Dagger? I was telling them why we're here. Why are we here? Zidane! It's just a joke. Jeez, don't get mad. Can't you see him trying to make them understand? What's a joke? Is it scary? It's something funny, right, Dagger? You don't seem so bad. Because you're here to fight the bad guys. That's right. You're unbelievable, you know that? Hey, where's Vivi? I don't know where he went. That worries me. I'm gonna go look for him. H hey, Dagger! Not again. <laughs> Just can't catch a break. Gorman's nose. How do you pronounce that word? Gorman? Gorman? <gasps> Why you ran away? I not do anything. What are you hiding? Sorry, I didn't mean to like squeak there. Ooh! It's aroma. It's delicious aroma. That no, Queena. If you look on the door, clearly that's not the sign of food. That's that's. A Chocobo. Please don't eat the chocobo. I beg of you. Oh, it's a, syn a synthesis shop. I can't say it. Oh, finally. Okay, we need a mithril dagger. What else can we get here? Um, Medane's ring. Ring used as a charm since ancient times. Okay, well, we could use one of those. Extension, we don't really have. Reflect ring, that's kind of self explanatory. Um, alright, I'll grab the stuff off screen later. It's just so we don't you don't have to watch me do that boring stuff. And we found some gill, just like randomly. And what's up here? <clears throat> I don't know what's with my voice today, jeez. Just something stuck in my throat. Uh is there anything there? There we go. More gill. <clears throat> alright, I guess that's it. Let's head back down. I like the music here, it's so silly. Oh, wait! Hey, Vivi! What's up with him? Ugh. Come on, don't blip out. Uh-oh. Life cycle. Aha! I know you hide food! Get out! This egg is ours! It's chocobo egg! Chocobo egg is super delicious! We share and eat it! We're not gonna eat it! A chocobo mother left it for us before she stopped moving! That's right, we're gonna raise it for her! You crazy! You never raised any animal before! Shut up, we can so do it! I don't believe you! You eat egg behind my back! No way! Oh, Queena. Hey, how come you guys can all talk? We became aware one day, each under different circumstances. Became aware? How? Do you remember being born? No, not really. It was the same with me. I just woke up one day. 
and there was a human body lying next to me. His body was covered in blood. It scared me. I didn't know what it meant. I ran as fast as I could. When I looked around, I was far away from the front line. There were many others like me, and we decided to escape together. We heard about this village after roaming around for a while. That's how I ended up here. I see. Sorry, guys. I can't... I'm not going to do different voices for the black mages. It's just... <clears throat> my throat's not doing so well. I wonder what it's like down there. Is it warm or cold? Oh, you guys. This is a little depressing. And now the music stopped, too. Alright, let's head over to the Chocobo farm. Or at least find out where Vivi and Dagger went. Alright, first let's talk to this Moogle here. Mogrio. Another letter? Jeez! Alright, fine. Let's quickly save here, just in case. Yes, let's save. Alright. Now let's stop Queena from eating that chocobo egg. Sedane! You won't eat too? Chocobo egg, very delicious! We're never gonna give it to you! <laughs> never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. I'm gonna rickroll you guys. Is she he with you? Can you take him somewhere else? Come on, Queena, let's go. Be nice. No! Come on, man! Jeez. Well, I guess we don't really have much of a choice here but to leave. Okay, what else can we do around here? We need to look for Vivi and Dagger, don't we? Where the hell did they go? We, I think we've explored everything. Um, pretty sure we've been in here before. And they're not here in the inn. Oh, wait! Vivi, what's wrong? Huh? Oh, Zidane. It's... It's nothing. Did something bad happen? All the black mages seem pretty nice. Nothing happened. <sighs> I'm hungry! This village people eat terrible food. Oh, Vivi, you're back. Where were you? You look very... You got tired, right, Vivi? Y yeah I don't blame you. We've been walking around non-stop. We should call it a day. I go to forest and look for food. Uh, yeah, I think we were, we, well, not yet. I need to go get weapons and, and synth them up. Let's do some synthing, I guess. Okay, fine, I guess you guys will have to watch this. Or I could just cut it out, really. Uh, this is not it. This is the, uh, the item shop. The weapon shop was at the front, right? If I remember correctly. What did I need again? I needed a mithril dagger. Uh... Maybe another Maltina racket. Um, Stardust Rod, I think. It doesn't have a Maltina racket here. I think that was... Ah, I'll find out later. I love the music here. God, it's so cute. Alright, let's synth something up. Black Cat Synthesis Shop. That's so cute. Alright, let's get a Rune Tooth and... Medane's Ring. And... Uh, we can do without the Reflect Ring for now, right? An extension... Well, we don't have another Maltina Racket to spare right now, so no. Alright, now let's go rest at the end and continue the story. Uh, where was the inn again? Up here. I'm so forgetful, jeez. Alright. There we go. Uh, what is music? Yes, we're staying. Oh, this guy still seems kind of scared of us. Sedane, Vivi just walked out. Maybe he's letting us have a little romantic quiet time. I'm serious! I wouldn't worry too much. But... He's trying to figure something out for himself. Think about it. Vivi's never met black mages like himself before. 
But what if, what if they're being mean to him or saying nasty things? Do you really think the people of this village gathered to do something like that? Maybe, just maybe, he'll find what he's looking for. Find what? A place to call home. Home? Yeah, a place where he belongs. Hey Zidane, when you said home, what's the matter? Can't fall asleep? How about a bedtime story? Let's see. Once upon a time... There you go again, teasing me. Once upon a time, there was a man. There was a man who didn't know where he came from. Zidane? This man had longed to find his birthplace ever since he was a small child. His birthplace, a place he only remembered in his dreams. Why? He wanted to know more about himself, maybe. About his parents, the house where he was born. One day, the man left the home of his adoptive father and went on a quest to find the answer. His only clue was the blue light he saw in his dreams. A blue light? Yeah, he thought it might be a memory of his birthplace. An ocean, maybe? Did he find it? Hey, you're jumping ahead. A lot of things happened along the way. Alright, we can slip it, skip ahead. No, he never found it. How could he? His only clue was a colored light. So he went back to the home of his adoptive father. What do you think his father did when he came home? Welcomed him home? No way! The father raised his fist and beat the son he had worked so hard to raise. Wham! Pow! Whack! Bam! Why? I don't know. But you know what surprised him even more? The father smiled after beating up his son. Can you believe that? He just gave his son a beating. But this is what the man thought when he saw his father smile. This is my home. This is the place I call home. The man is still looking for his birthplace. But he already has a home. Maybe... It's the same for Vivi. He's looking for a place to call home. I wonder if Vivi will stay in this village. Who knows? That's for him to decide. That was really nice. Hello, nice to meet you again. Um, I wanted to ask you something. What is it? I was wondering how many people have stopped moving. You're very kind to use our words. But you already know what it means to live and to die. You're asking about our friends who have died, not stopped. Um, seven of our friends stopped functioning recently. I think our lifespan is limited. I've suspected this ever since the first one came to a came to a stop. It varies a little, but most of us stop moving one year after production. No. If I ha I haven't told anyone about this. If I did, they'd feel the same way I do. What do you feel? I don't know. Fear? I don't want to stop. And maybe I want to run away from it all. But living in this village, well, living in the village with everyone fills me with joy. The joy of living with them far outweighs the fear of death. Isn't it the same for you? Traveling with your friends gives your life meaning. I... Oh. Now I remember why I like this place so much. Really? Yeah, I think that's what you're looking for. Thank you! What's up, Dagger? Zidane! Someone saw a silver dragon in the northwest part of this continent. The people of Conde Petit said there was a place called Sanctuary, where our entrance is, is restricted. I think this Kuja said something about a secret being hidden on this continent. You heard him say that? Yeah, something about the source of the mist. Maybe we can find out more if we go there, and maybe save my mother. Right. Oh, where's Vivi? Vivi says he's staying behind. Wait for me! Vivi? Everyone in the village asked me to see the outside world and tell them all about it. I see. Oh man, I thought Dagger and I'd get to spend some quality time together. What you say? You no can leave me here, I starve! 
Oh yeah, I forgot about you. <laughs> what? You can't forget about Queena. Let's go, everyone. To Condi Petit, and to the sanctuary that lies beyond. Let's go! Ikuyo, minasan! Okay, yeah. I can't believe I just said that. Alright. So, I think that should be it for now. I'm already up to a half hour of recording here. And... I know I had a lot of encounters at the beginning, but... I don't know how many I can cut out to to save some time here. But anyway, next episode we head back to Condé Petit and check out what the sanctuary is all about. You'll get to hear more of my horrible Scottish slash Indian slash Northern English I don't even know anymore accent. So, uh, I guess you have that to look forward to. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.